Hello guys, Death Nico here. It's been a while, but I am finally back into the recording business. I am here to show you a short tutorial on how to use Test5 Edit and Rybash and similar programs through Mod Organizer. I have had a lot of questions asked about these two programs in particular, as well as the Creation Kit. I will be doing one specifically for the Creation Kit in the near future, but for now, I will show you these two programs through Mod Organizer. A lot of you may have uh, been using this program for a long time and may have noticed that uh, what you see on my screen currently is a lot different from what you have seen in my previous videos. That's because Mod Organizer has received some major updates, which I will be showing in the near future as well. Just give me some time and I will cover a full update series for Mod Organizer, showcase all the new additions, all the bug fixes, and everything else that's going on with the program currently. Anyway, if you are interested in using Test5 Edit or Rybash through Mod Organizer, it is a simple matter of clicking on this button here and then going to edit or if you don't want to do it this way instead click on this button here configure the executables that can be started through mod organizer anyway either way it'll bring you to this window here and you will see a short little window at the top with executables SKSE, Skyrim, Creation Kit these are some that I've got loaded in currently anyway to keep it short and sweet Basically, you want to click on the binary tab right here to search for the executable that you want launched through Mod Organizer. In this case, we want to look for Boss, right? So I click on the search button, and I have Boss saved in computer, local disk C, and as you can see, I've got it installed directly into my hard drive. So we go into the Boss folder, and I use Boss GUI or Boss. They're both executables, they both do the same thing, basically, so. Double click on Boss GUI, and as far as I know, you don't need to worry about the start in or the arguments bar, but uh, the main thing you want to do is worry about this title bar here, and put in the name Boss, or anything that you want to label Boss as, and then click on the Modify button. Alright, let's say I wanted to do this for the very first time. As I showed you earlier, if you go to my computer, local to see, you can see that's where I've got Boss installed. Boss folder, Boss GUI, yada yada, sweet and simple. Now, in order to use Boss through Mod Organizer, I'll click on Modify Executables. Let me expand this window so y'all can see better. As you can see, Boss is no longer in my Modify Executables window, so I will worry about this bar right here first. Binary. Click on Browse File System button, and it's Install Computer, Local Disk C, Boss, Boss GUI. And as you can see, it's got the directory listed in binary now. Next bar you want to worry about is title. So keep it short, sweet, and simple. Boss, because boss is the boss. And then I won't worry about start in. I won't worry about arguments. I'll ignore overwrite Steam app ID. If you want Mod Organizer to close whenever you run this program, that's up to you. If so, click that. If not, leave it alone. And then click the add button. Don't click OK. OK will close the window and it won't add anything. You have to click the Add button first. So click Add, and click OK. The window closes, and as you can see, I have Boss listed here. Now, you can run Boss by selecting it on that drop-down button, and then click and run, or you can do what I have done, and basically click on the shortcut button whenever you've got Boss selected with the Pick the Program to run. So, you can make a shortcut in the toolbar, on the desktop, or in the Start menu. Any of these options, if you click on the executable wherever it was put at, that shortcut will launch it through Mod Organizer. So I got it set to the toolbar, and as you can see, just clicking on it once will lock Mod Organizer and then run the boss executable. Edit user rules, do any of the functions you need to, and then you're done. Using Test5 Edit through Mod Organizer works the same way as it does with boss. We'll go back to our Modify Executables window. And as you can see, I don't have Test5 Edit installed here. Once again, we'll click on the binary. And I have Test5 Edit installed in my local disk C drive, just like I do with Boss. I'll double click on the executable, add a title to it. And then click on the Add button and click OK. And as you can see, Test5 Edit is added to the drop down box. You can select it and then click run or add a shortcut just like before and the proof is in the pudding. As you can see I have a lot of mods installed with Mod Organizer and 
all these mods are now brought up in Test 5 Edit. Well, that is basically it for this short tutorial video. I will be doing a series of short tutorial videos for various things in the near future. If there are any features that you would like to see uh, brought to light through my tutorial videos for my organizer, then please let me know. Either let me know on my Nexus profile page, give me a comment or a message, or a message here on the YouTube page, and I will see what I can do about covering it. So that's all for now, folks. I'll be seeing y'all in the future. Until then, have fun.